Only play <laughs> with friends. It's the Mako energy. I always called it Mako growing up. Did they call it Mako or Mako? Mako. Isn't that a fucking earth shattering thing when something you've mentally filed away since childhood just gets like <laughs> said out loud and you're like, what? I also call chocobos chocoboos. I did my definitely whole life. call them chocobos and Mako, but <laughs> Breath of the Wild was a was a big annoying one for me because they're like, you gotta go to Kakariko Village. I'm like, that is not how that. How do you is say said, it? Right? I say Kakariko. I, I, as a kid, I always said, like, Kakariko or something. I, <laughs> That's I said, how I read I it. I said Kakariko, and Kakariko is close enough. Oh, do you have a limit break? Not yet. Oh, I saw it Braver. Then. Braver's not a limit no more, it's just an ability. Oh, I see. But there are limit breaks in the game? Yeah. Cool. Dude, pretty cool. He don't know how old he is. <laughs> Whoa! This is the most fun. That social commentary on uh, nostalgia and specifically people playing this game, they don't know Ooh. how old they is. Give me back my f health. Take that, Chris. I did. Take that, you. It felt good. It made my hair ten times longer. <laughs> yes. Dude, look at this freaking Mako down here. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. This is the cherished green chamber. Pretty much. If anything bad happens in this green chamber, it's insured. I think the water looks, or the Mako looks really cool. Yeah. Shmya. I love you so much, babe. Thanks, man. Ew, a game telling me what to do? Yeah, dummy! Through a woman's voice, no less. <laughs> Look at these little guys. Shinner just makes these eyeballs on plants and makes them fly around for fun. Yeah. They even teach them how to feel. <laughs> <laughs> but only pain. Yeah, just exclusively pain. Pain and longing. They're allowed to hope and dream, but they have no way of expressing it. So really, you're doing them a favor. Right. Every time you slap them, a dream leaks out. <laughs> <laughs> they, that should be told to, like, child abusers. Every time you slap them, a dream leaks out. Whoa. And then the guy slapping his son would stop and go, I never thought of it that way. What have I done? All these wasted dreams. <laughs> Die, stupid eyeball. You don't allow to exist. Yeah, yeah, it's like the actual, like, main hits barely do any damage. It's like those combo follow-ups. It's the last one, yeah. Yeah. Good night. Were you Look. Barrett there? Yeah. Oh, that was cool. That was nothing. Ugh. That's all my urine in one day. <laughs> Stop looking at the urine cloud. Whatever. I look at what I want. <laughs> okay. Look at that, so cool. Look, they've even got a, a cute little Mako caution sign. You gotta be uh, vortex cautious around that Mako. <laughs> Here it is, the reactor core. All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Don't call me that, you asshole. He called you Little Go Stamp? On. Do the honors. I'm not Little Stamp, I'm Prove Big Stamp. Prove to me you're the man Tifa <laughs> says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Now when you say us, does that mean I have the pass, or...? I don't think there's a single girl out there that would fuck Cloud Strife. Really? Not a single one? Not a single one. No. They'd say, ew, yuck, he's got perfect muscles and <laughs> beautiful green eyes. Disgusting. Two penises through mitosis. And a tragic tortured that. past. And a distant <laughs> attitude. 
and, and all these flaws that I could assuredly change given enough time. <laughs> they, yeah, they would hate that. Fine. <laughs> what about the timer? Your call, Merc. Dude, I think all we need is 20. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Pretty cocky. <clears throat> Pretty cocky. Split your penis in half, throw your two sides of your penis together. Pretty cocky. Pretty cocky, ain't you? I appreciate your confidence, though, Chris. I would have done the same. So make sure you don't hit this guy when his tail's up. If it's anything like the regular game. I think it's got a thing on its its asshole right there. See? Really? Is that like a weak point? I don't know. Can you target it separately? Uh oh. Look at that beautiful thing. It's right on his butthole. That's where it puts all the lips that it collects. Got it. Oh, oh damn, it's that easy. Okay. Yeah, uh -oh. it really doesn't like when you put things up its butt. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, fuck. Woo! You got him. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They made this fight fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's fucking cool looking, though. No, I love it. great. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So See, now it's tail don't... time, Tomar. Ah! It's tail Tomar's time. Tail, time. tail time. Just like you always wanted. Here's the tail. It never fails. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. It's He's talking Clues. about Tomar's Tale Time, the show oh. that got 19 seasons. Yeah. Tomar's Tale Time. <laughs> yeah. Where's his butt? Where's his ass? Is his ass gone? Yeah, I think he sliced it out. Damn it. Need to heal up soon. I did already. Oh. You know Cloud's awesome because he swears. He says things Everyone like, in this game fucking swears. He says things like the damn it word. Does he ever say, uh, like, like, ch or heh? Cause that's how I judge if a person is cool or not. If they say, heh. That is pretty sick. Yeah. It's like a verbal kickflip. Have you guys, uh, heard about that new Star Trek show, Picard? No. I don't know nothing about it, no. I mean, I've heard of it, but that's all I know. Well, uh, they made it really edgy and over the top, and they make everyone swear like crazy, and everyone hates the writer for it. But he, he made Picard say really gross shit, like... You want to be ass deep in Romulans for the rest of your life. <laughs> what? That is, that is kinda weird. <laughs> what was that, uh, that Harry Potter fan fiction where it's like Dumbledore's like, What the fuck did you just say to me, you piece of shit? <laughs> oh, the, uh, My, My Immortal? Yeah. Oh, I love that, yeah. <laughs> Didn't it come out that the person that wrote that was fucking around? Yeah, it, it seems like a troll. It's still funny. Yeah, I'm, I love it. The internet historian's video about it. That it it was long too, but it's very believable at the same time. Like the fact that it has the little like segments at the end where they like thank their <laughs> one friend and then like and then and then complain about the haters. Yeah. I'll, I'll bet that that person basically like either. Jesus. It, I'll bet the the quote unquote author of that was based off. An actual person's like sister or ex-girlfriend or something that they fucking hated, and they Ooh, were you like, "You knocked him down! You knocked him down! Fuck you, man!" No time to waste. Let's take it out quick. Yeah, take him out. Use braver. Do oh, it. Yeah, let's prove braver. No, he's healing. Oh no, I got no uh, shit left. Let's try Shoot this. Shoot him. Shoot him until he's angry. No. Ah! Oh, Baba left like Fuck you! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> left Lega is the most powerful spell in Final <laughs> Fantasy. Left Lega? Yeah. <laughs> it took a lifetime of practice left for Barrett to learn it. <laughs> Look, this part's so fucking crazy. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, that looks so fucking good. Oh, man. Can you imagine if they, like, if they made this into just a show with all this crap, people would have fucking loved it, too. Yeah, probably. I mean, they liked Advent Children, and that wasn't even good. Yeah, I know. It looked cool, and that, that was all it took.
I liked from uh, Crisis Core had some cool parts where they like sort of re reanimated scenes from the original game. Come on. Yeah, I love Crisis Core. Okay, now, did we set it yet? Oh yeah, we did. Let's get the fuck out of here, Brute. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed Crisis Core too. It's the only game I remember playing on the PSP. Me too, and it made Zack so likable in it. He was so fun. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say it because I don't know if people have not played Final Fantasy VII, but yeah, Zack's concentrate. Zack's weird. He's, he's I think we can just character. leave these fucking assholes, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you're in a timer now. Yeah, they're gonna stay at their post oh. and blow nope. up. They're like, like the band on the Titanic, except they're sentient eyeballs that can feel pain <laughs> and dreams. They wouldn't let me run up the ladder until I kill him. Oh. And I guess- Please get out of here. Please. I guess they're more like the band on the Titanic than we thought then. <laughs> That's actually why uh, those people couldn't get on the lifeboats. It wasn't because there wasn't enough. It's because the band refused to let them pass until they killed them. <laughs> there was a there was oh, a wow. scripted event that everybody on the Titanic missed. Yeah, <laughs> That's the real reason they couldn't get to the lifeboats. That one guy that uh, slid down and fell on the uh, like fell on the fucking mast on his way down. That guy yeah. was trying to speed. He was, he was, yeah, he, he was, was the NPC that gives you the primary quest. Your next no, that was a speedrunner. He was he oh, was I trying see. to <laughs> he was trying to sequence break it. <laughs> so, did I ever tell you that when I played uh, the original Final Fantasy VII as a kid, uh, when the timer was ticking down, I didn't escape on time, and right before it got to zero, I jumped up and ran over to the PlayStation and turned it off and started crying. Jeez, really. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I actually had a similar panic moment to that. Um, you know Banjo Kazooie, uh -huh. how if you when yeah. you hit exit game, uh, it just gives you like an ending where like your sister gets turned into a witch and like oh you yeah, die. the game over ending. Yeah, yeah, that happened That's to evil. me. And and not only that, I like borrowed the game from a friend. Where where you know on a Nintendo sixty four cartridge, your save data is like on that. Uh -huh. So I was like playing on his save, and then I hit exit game, and it did that. And I was like, oh my fucking god, I just ruined my friend's game. So what I did was, I deleted the file, and then I lied to him. I said, there was a fucking power outage, uh, and, and like, it was right as I was saving, and it deleted the file. I'm sorry. Like, I, I didn't oh want him to god. know that, like, what, what I thought, like, because I'd never seen so, something so like that before. So you hadn't even tried reloading the save to see if it was No, just I just <laughs> assumed that the game was lost forever. I don't know. He wasn't actually that far in it. He was, he was still in, like, the first zone, so he, wasn't, he didn't really care. But, like, I felt so fucking bad about it. Not enough to not lie, but, you know. <laughs> I was, like, six or something. I wasn't... It's a six-year-old kind of decision. Yeah. I remember, I remember the first time I watched the Jetsons movie, and there's that opening scene where the... where the little, like, Ewok things, or they're like... I don't even know if you've seen the Jetson, Jetsons the movie. But basically, there's, like, these Is little it? Ewok things that, like, sabotage a machine in the dead of the night. Uh, and just, like, the fact that it was, like, lit all dark and menacing, and there are these little, like, creatures, like... just terrified me for some reason, and I shut the movie off, like, in the middle of the first scene and never watched the rest of it. This is a cartoon Jetsons movie? Yeah, this is a car- this is the, the cartoon Jetsons movie. It probably came out in, like, the, like, late 80s, and I was watching it as, like, a- like, a VHS rental. So, have you ever gone back to it and made peace with it years later, or Absolutely. is it still- No, I oh, went yeah. back and made peace with it, like, when I was eight. Or, or, oh, okay. Not eight. It's like at the time, I think I was like maybe six. Yeah. To be fair, I, I would feel a little bad that you're destroying this fucking sweeper, but it's doing a terrible job in here. It's filthy. That. That's the thing that bullied uh, Macaulay Culkin at Home Alone in the basement. Is it? I thought yeah. that was the thing that fell down the stairs in Robocop. <laughs> you're right. Did I already open this fucking. Yeah, wait, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. This whole can of worms? Yes, you did, Chris. Yes, I you did. I did not mean, though. How dare you? Uh, God, I hate these little fucking eyeballs. Just leave me alone. Just can't, just can't let me be a terrorist in peace. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Mono drive. 
It's a cool name for them. You are being a little bit of one. I didn't want to say anything earlier, but... Ah! My brain! Oh, I hate these fucking guys. They're so hard. The but I also shock love... shock troopers. I love that they kept these guys. They look so cool. Yeah, they're slippery. So wait, is that a- is that a real human person? Yeah. Or is that, uh, is that a machine? That's a human. That's a human being. And now it's dead. Let's get out of here. All right, here the we core, go. The core's going. Sir. President Shinra looks cool. They all look pretty dang cool. These guys communicate on such a level that that guy knows that a, a gesture sideways with his head means to do this. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The Shinra family, it's Shinra is a family business, you know? He really meant, please go get me a coffee, I'm very parched. <laughs> he just yells at him like, THAT WAS HOW YOU INTERPRETED MY LITTLE HEAD NOD? WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! HOW MANY TIMES HAVE YOU DONE THAT?! <laughs> Dude, I want to rub my fingers down Bart's fucking hair so bad. I want to yeah. feel that tennis ball texture. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Who doesn't? Can you walk? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first. He's to got know. his hand on her breast. I saw it. I'll take that as a yes. That's called an arm. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I think your your biology of women knowledge is a little uh, a little off. <laughs> Look, he can jump like 60,000 feet in the air, okay? Keep Except when you're controlling him. Exactly. Also, uh, instead of a belly button, women have this thing called a vagina. I don't know if you've oh. ever heard of this <laughs> look, thing. Look, Lyle, look at that! No! They're blowing up Greenland! Oh yeah, way to protect the Earth and bring society grinding to a halt. Yeah, anybody that breathes that in has like 10 years taken off their life. Pretty much. That is cool. You know what doesn't look cool? Midgar in the daytime. I think nighttime nighttime's always going to be cooler and more dramatic in any context. It's like Batman. Batman should never be seen in the day. <laughs> yeah, he does look real goofy in the day. I followed the instructions. The day bat. I want to clean her breastplate. Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. Do you find it unsatisfactorily dirty? I just want to make it shine. I mean, I want to like lick my finger and go. After all that, <laughs> That's fair. Anyway, That's a rational thing to want. That'd be just down there. See, badger. That is badger. badger. Holy badger, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Huh. He's good though. He suits him. He does. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Okay. I was with him up until the lad. That was a horrible delivery, Badger. Ugh. Horrible. God, Just kidding. It's good. It's just fine. Look at this silly rock. You can do all sorts with it. Oh man, the potential. Remember when you were just a wee child and a moving rock was all you needed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing this rock with me. I don't fucking care. Yeah, the yeah, classic rock. children's You're game bringing move this rock. rock. This, this... This rock's gonna make it all the way to Cosmo Canyon. No, it, won't, wait, it got stuck. Never mind. Oh no! Oh, I thought that was gonna be like a Half-Life Two gnome situation. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna bring that weirdly textured rock all the way. Damn! Uh, if that fell on me, I don't know what would have happened. I felt that one in my guts. It fell on the plumbing, though. We need to get out of this place. That's gonna be a problem for, uh, whoever lives there. Dude, have you seen that video of that weird French guy who fills his bathtub with Orbeez and it just keeps getting worse from there? No. What's an Orby? <laughs> an, an Orby is like, they're like little beads and they expand to be about the size of a marble. Yeah. And, uh, this guy fills his bathtub with them and then 
fucking they start coming out of his sink. Are they starts, squishy or hard? Like they're the marble. Start coming out of sink. Yeah, they're gel. No, it gets worse. They start coming out of his sink, so he starts panicking. So he starts like uh, he starts vacuuming them up. And then, uh, mm -hmm. it breaks his fucking vacuum, and then he starts trying to, like, pour salt on it, because he read online that salt would make them unexpand, and then raw sewage just starts getting pumped up through his fucking, like, sink. And then, uh, he goes outside, and they're, like, jamming up the fucking, like, they're pouring out through the, the sewers and shit. This is, this is, you're saying there's an actual video of all this going yes. on. Yes, there's an actual video of this guy fucking panicking and like... And he ruining gets... his entire municipal plumbing system. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, for like the whole neighborhood too. Like, and, and he gets like a note from like the authorities. Like, if you have any information on who's caused this. Like, and he's just like freaking out. Plusieurs bouches d'évacuation ont été obstruées, ainsi que plusieurs jardins. Merde!